Hello everyone, it's Claire from Imagination Binds Love and I'm coming at you with a daily oracle reading. Um, I'm going to be using the vision, Visionary Tarot as well, um, just to kind of see what is going on. And I've got the Rebel deck here, which is pretty straightforward and, and snappy. And then because we have a new moon tonight, I'm going to be using the Moonology deck to see where we're at. And this deck here, which is beautiful, it's by Soraya Rose. Yeah, beautiful deck. I love, I love the back of it. It's very nice. Yeah, so... Um, let's get started, and um, I hope you enjoy the reading. Okay, guys, so uh, I was guided to pull three of the tarot cards and three to clarify and give some extra guidance on a deeper level. So I am going to start with this one over here. And this is the Two of Cups. And this resembles um, feeling whole. And it's also about like being um, like held as you can see in this it's like about being held and protected you're safe in all ways you're loved in all ways um so that's a message for anyone maybe you've been feeling um incomplete or there are things in your um in your life at the moment that have felt really um, unsupported and so now the energy that's playing out is feeling supported feeling one feeling whole and feeling protected that's what I'm getting from that and this is a win-win outcome is on the forecast so what I'm getting is from feeling whole um, you know, like within, we are coming to a place where things that we desire, um, they are coming to fruition. Um, but it's also about feeling good within as well, you know, like you feel good on the inside and it's reflected back to you on the outside. Isn't that cool? I like that. That's just the message that's coming through. Page of Flames. Now what I get from this straight away is dedication and um, a connection of some sort. Uh, it's very focused on um, like the future. And it's also like what I get from this card from just looking at it is like a lot of presence, a lot of like this, is, this looks like someone's higher self. Um, you're working diligently through things that no longer align to um, come to a place of like better alignment is what I'm getting. <laughs> so simple. Um, yeah, and like a better connection with not only yourself, but with the universe and um, say anyone else. I also feel like this is about feeling good enough within yourself um, and feeling loved within yourself. Like you are whole. That's what I get from this is that you are whole and you're focused on your journey. Um to be your highest and best self that I get. 
Let's see what the next card has to say. Oh, you are good enough. Isn't that sweet? You are good enough. So you're working through feeling good enough and you're igniting that within yourself. Like this, this woman, she looks like she's got a lot of confidence. Um, or she's working towards that confidence, you know. Um, so that saying and reminding you that you are good enough. Awesome. Next card, Ten of Flames. So this looks like um, balance. It feels like, you know, you work hard for you know your choice and your reality but you do have to rest and you do have to have that balance um but with that balance comes the ten of flames so this is about like you're feeling you you're in a place of completeness this is all about feeling complete within yourself and the way that you do that is by reassuring yourself that you are good enough when you do that, you receive this beautiful, um, like this comfort. Like, look at this woman; she is so comfortable. She's happy. She's she's tired. She's going to have a sleep. And the source is like, yeah, go for it. You've got everything you need. That's so cool. I love that. Ha <laughs> ha! Take time to breathe out. Honestly, guys, I did not pick these cards, like, for the, <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, take time to breathe out. So this is just about, um, you know, you don't have to be on point every second of the day. You can take a rest. You have everything you need right now. You are good enough. Um, it doesn't matter if you take some time out for a bit to just feel comforted um, by source and by um, feeling that within. Um, but it doesn't mean that you have to go searching for it. I mean, by all means, if you're feeling empty or incomplete in any way, um, go to that place and give yourself that love that you need, you are good enough, um, but then also in saying that, you know, some time out, some sleep, I feel like there's a, a lot of people that just need some sleep, um, they're tired, they're, they're complete, and when you're tired and feeling complete, what do you do? You sleep like a baby. Well, no, that's bad. That's a bad term. <laughs> Babies don't really sleep. But, um, yeah, she's so comforted. And that's about, like, feeling that comfort from source. Like, you have everything you need. Look at these. The flames. There's ten of them. You have everything you need. You are complete. You are whole. Right, that was cool. I like that. So we're going to go deeper into um, just one more message. We might use the Rebel deck this time. Spice it up. Let's see what the Rebel deck has to say. Oh! <laughs> Okay, we got some goodies. Believe what you see, face reality, or live in la-la land. Choose bravely. So what they're saying is like what you are seeing on the outside reflects what you feel on the inside. Yeah. is exactly what 
what this is. This is all all it's saying is believe what you see. That is what you are seeing on the inside. So if you are feeling complete, you're going to have that reflected to you uh, in your reality. And I mean all the little places that feel yucky, believe believe that those places can be um, you know, you can choose, you can face reality and you can um, choose a new choice. That's what it's saying. Choose bravely. And then you need a good cry. <laughs> Get the ugly cry on. Let that shit go. Your soul. Thank you. So um, whatever we are seeing in our reality may feel upset. Um, but this is about giving yourself that time to like let go and surrender and just know that you are good enough. Um, and yeah, just go hard towards your dreams. Like if you look at this, I love the unicorn, but the unicorn is facing this way, right? Um, and this is about like... Moving forward, you know, and um, letting go of ego and anything that feels like control and fear, which leads me to this one. If fear, it will lie to your face. So, I mean, there might be some challenges in your reality at the moment that feeling quite um, uncomfortable. And so the way forward is to see it, feel it, choose peace and love, and it will transform. You, that, that fear has no power. You only power that it has is when you choose fear when you choose it yourself but if you choose to um, let go of that fear and know that you are safe and you don't have to control you don't have to um, have things a certain way um, something that came to me today was we tend to um, like try to control the circumstances of our life right and source pretty much says no 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 let go of control I've got a better plan for you and we keep going and we keep trying to control the situation and then source goes and like I guess disciplines us you know like we get disciplined, we don't get the job that we want, or our love life turns to shit, <laughs> you know, but, the, <laughs> but it doesn't really, because if we allowed for Source to be um, like our top priority, then we would see that the divine plan is like a whole lot better than what we have ever imagined, you know. Um, and it only ever gets better. So that's what I found. Like there's two. There's control and then there's like let it go and surrender and listen to the divine and you you just find that things work out so much more smoothly. Smoothly. Is that even a word? Bring love into the situation. So believe what you see and bring love into the situation. This is a... <laughs> Thanks, phone. Um, this is about, um, yeah, about reflections and, um, you know, what you're seeing in your reality. You can reflect back onto yourself and give yourself that love that you deserve. <laughs> oh, what we were saying. Surrender to the divine. So you need a good cry, surrender to the divine. There is obviously some sort of control 
in this situation. Um, it's just that's what's coming to mind with the story I was just saying before, um, where you just need to surrender instead of trying to control the outcome. We just surrender and let Source do it, you know. Nothing will come of the situation. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Guys. Oh my gosh. I am blown away. If fear, nothing will come of this situation. So if you continue to choose fear, nothing's going to come of the situation. That's exactly what those cards are saying. You and your loved ones are safe. So letting go of control and surrendering it to the universe, you are letting go of any resistance and the universe is going to make sure that they are safe because you cher cherish them so, so much. Um, yeah, this is about surrendering, surrendering fear and just knowing that you are, you're safe. It's okay to trust these people. It's okay. You're not going to lose them by being vulnerable with them. That is so beautiful. I am just blown away by these two cards here. That blew my mind. <laughs> okay, I, I have to keep going because this is just juicy. Juicy. <sighs> right. I feel like we need some more Rebel Deck. So, let's see what's the next cards are. <laughs> and we will go two moon cards. You are giving too many Fs. Give zero. You're caring too much. You're thinking about something too much. Um, let it go. Let it go and just do you. Take a shot. Don't take 12. Take one. Okay, maybe two. Move on. So what was it saying is, is um, stop focusing on the situation. Let it go. Um, and it will resolve itself. Surrender it. Right. Card for this. Show the world the real you. A story that comes to mind for me, and I feel like this will resonate for some, is, um, you know, I'm sure there was a time in your life where you were independent and you were going off and doing your own thing and then you got into a certain connection or relationship and you found that you did the opposite but previously you were quite happy doing your own thing what this is trying to say is when you didn't give an f and you just did your own thing moved on things were at less resistance and you were able to be the real you well, right now in a place of control you're not being the real you and this is about showing your full self All right get the f out of your head i didn't read these cards before Get in your heart. It misses you. Aww. 
You are the best thing to ever happen to you. Go easy on your ass. Buy your own damn drink. Again, this is just talking about like going inwards and loving ourselves. Stop caring about these people, the situation, whatever it is, and um, just do you. Get out of your head. Get into your heart. Unconditional love. It's time to take action. Yeah, surrender. Absolutely surrender and just don't give an F about anyone else. you got to do what your, is right for you. And alternatively, what this is going to do is it's going to um, attract the things that you desire in. Yeah, and there's one more card. Hold your vision. Hold your vision. Letting go of all the stuff that was controlling. Letting all of it go. Showing yourself to the world as who you are. An independent person that you are. Um, and hold your vision because you know what you want. It's coming. Um, but you have to choose the path of least resistance and that's about being happy with yourself and um, not needing love from outside of yourself. Okay guys, well that was your reading. Um, I loved it. Resonated quite well. Um, if you guys liked it, please leave a comment and a like. And I will talk to you again soon. Okay, bye.